If you guys are looking to buy cheap and reliable FIFA 17 coins, make sure to check out MMOGAH. The link to their website is down in the description and use the code S2G to get yourself a 3% off on your purchase. Hey guys, how is it going? It is S2G and welcome to a bit of a different video on this channel. In today's video, we will be building the potential Barcelona squad for FIFA 18, the possible squad that Barcelona could have for the upcoming season. This season, even though Barcelona have been pretty good, you know, fighting for La Liga in the finals of the Spanish Cup and also completing that miraculous comeback against PSG, they have flaws and a lot of players are rumoured to join them. We will try and build a team that they could potentially have in the upcoming season, basically FIFA 18. So what we are going to be doing is I've started a career mode with Barcelona, I've simmed all the way up to the second season and we are now going to bring in all the players that are linked with Barcelona, could join them next season season and we'll play a game with them sim through the season and see how Barcelona does so just a fun idea hopefully you guys do enjoy it and if you guys do like the concept of these videos smash that like button that will be greatly appreciated 150 likes is the goal for today and make sure to subscribe for more FIFA 17 content on your screen you guys can see the current Barcelona 11 and you might find the squad a bit different the overalls a bit different that's because we are in the second season and that's why Neymar is 93 rated the same rating as Leo Messi and Iniesta is 86 that's just disgusting man the way he's gone down from 88 to 86 but that's basically career mode and that's how it works and also on the top left you guys can see the manager name and it's Jorge Sampaoli I think he's gonna be the man to take the Barcelona job as you guys know Luis Enrique will be leaving Barcelona so I predict Sampaoli to be the Barcelona coach for the upcoming season but again people are saying that it's not going to be Sam Pauli it's going to be Ernesto Valverde but I really want Sam Pauli as a Barca fan I would love to see Jorge Sam Pauli coach Barcelona um, besides that this is the transfer budget we've got to you know make all the signings before I show you guys the plays that I want to bring in and the plays that are linked with Barcelona and that I think could be with them for FIFA 18 for the upcoming season these two plays I think won't be in Barcelona. Arda Turan has been linked to a move to China and I think they will sell him. I think Barca's board will sell him because he's going to bring in a lot of money which will help Barcelona make all the signings they need to make and also help fund Messi's contract because that's going to be really expensive. A few players have come, have come back from their loan spells like Munir and Samper. I really personally want them to be at Barcelona. I think the new coach will take use of them because they're such good players, especially Sergi Samper. I mean, he's been predicted to be the next Busquets and we really don't have anyone else apart from Busquets to play that role and I really want him to, you know, become an important player, at least a squad rotation player. For the sake of that, I've kept him in the team. I personally want to see him thrive at Barcelona. I've also gone ahead and loaned out a few of our youngsters because, well, did want to include them in this video because Barcelona in real life also are not using youngsters that much. They're just loaning them out with buyback clauses. In fact, selling them with buyback clauses. But anyways, let's not get into that. And these are the players that are heavily linked with Barcelona, especially Bernardo Silva and Marco Verratti. They've been heavily linked with Barcelona, especially Verratti to be fair because he's been linked uh, to a Barca move for like a couple of years now. Xavi believes he's his natural successor for that midfield role. So we're going to be trying to sign all these players. Bayerin as well is um, one rumour to join Barcelona because he fits perfectly in that right back position and Barca do need a right back because Alex Vidal's injured for quite a while and Sergio Roberto isn't a reliable right back. So yeah, another player I want Barca to sign for the centre back position is Mark Bartra. He's doing very well for Dortmund and I think he is the perfect Barca defender, you know, playing the ball out from the back. Honestly, he never should have been sold. I think he's a great centre back and I would love to have him back at Barcelona. He's not that linked with Barcelona. I mean, the rumours aren't there that much, but I still think the move could be on the cards considering next season I'm expecting Matthew to leave and we'll need another centre back. Um, apart from that, Marco Verratti, the PSG player, I mean, he is heavily linked with Barcelona, as I've said. 
So I've put in a 60 million pound offer. Let's see if that much money is enough to bring him in. And the rumors are that it's going to cost Barcelona 80 million pounds to bring in Marco Verratti. Also, apparently, Usman Dembele is linked with Barcelona as well. And I think rumor has it that in one interview, he stated that he would only leave Dortmund for Barcelona. If I'm not wrong, I'm not sure about this, but yeah, he's linked. And if we have money left, I mean, we've got to work with the 100 million we've got. We'll try and bring in Usman Dembele as well. And as I showed you guys a few place that I'm looking to sell, Douglas, Vermeilen is a player that will be sold, I think Matthew as I've said, Arda Turan, also a couple of players that could be sold, Andre Gomez, um, because in real life he's not doing well at all for Barcelona, he's really struggling, and even Paco Alcacet, because he's not getting enough game time, so not too sure about those two players, what do you think, will Andre Gomez and Paco Alcacet leave Barcelona next season? I think the combined cost of those two plays is around 80 million, which is absolutely insane. So, really failed transfers at least so far. We will see what happens. I've tried to put in a 14 million pound offer from Barbatra. Let's see what Dortmund come back and say. And I initially put in a very good offer for Bernardo Silva, but. Well, Monaco don't think it was a good offer, so we've got to offer more money. Um, 34 million pounds, to be fair, I think that's a bit less. Let's bump it up to, right, you know, 42 million. I think that's a good offer for the 84-rated Monaco youngster. He's been linked to Barcelona a lot. A lot of people compare him to Messi. He doesn't really have the pace of Messi, but his dribbling and his first touch and his, his finesse on the ball is just perfect. Uh, 70 million for Marco Verratti, as most people know. He is linked to a Barca move for like 80 million pounds. So if you can get him for less than that, I think that'll be a big win. Bellerin, 10 million for Bellerin is really less. So what I'm going to do is 24 million, 22 million. They want 36 million. Arsenal want a lot of money for Bellerin. Defensively, Bellerin is trash. Like seriously against Bayern. What was he doing? I have no idea. But besides that, going forward, I think he offers a lot. And Barcelona do need that in a fullback. Barca this season have opted for the three at the back formation, but I believe that's not going to be long term because that's not the way Barca play. Barca play with a 4-3-3 style, possession-based football, so let's hope they opt for that because I prefer Barca playing in that way. Bernardo Silva is proving to be really expensive, so what I'm going to be doing is I'll offer Arda to run in a swap deal. Of course, Arda, I believe, will be joining a Chinese team for like a shit ton of money, maybe 50 million pounds or something, considering how the market is working right now. I'm not too sure that's a lot of money. So we're going to put in 20 million and order to run to bring in Bernardo Silva. I really want him, to, want him to be at Barcelona. As a Barca fan, I would love to see him at the club. Again, this Verratti deal, my God, it's proving to be expensive. Let's put in 77 million pounds and see what PSG come back with. They really do want a lot of money for their star midfielder. And this got me really interesting. We got a transfer offer for Paco Alcacer. And I wasn't willing to sell him for like a undercut price or a cheap price. So what I decided to do, I've countered with 37 million pounds. And I think if Barca get the right money for Paco Alcacer, they will sell him in real life. So we will see what happens. We've completed our first signing in Mark Bartra, the 81 rated player, 26 years old. I think it'll be a good squad rotation centre back, you know. PK Bartra, good partnership. PK Umtiti, great of course. Bartra um, Titi, I think this team with Bartra will be really awesome next season. If Bartra joins, I'll be really happy. Besides that, he's also scored against Madrid, so that's a plus plus as I'm a Barca fan. But anyways, Bayer in here, 26 million pounds for him. That's going to be another offer that I've put in. We will see what happens. PSG still want more money for Marco Verratti. That is absolutely insane. We've put in 85 million pounds now. Let's see what happens. After we've done with all these transfers and all, we will be playing a game uh, with this team, with the new team we've got, probably against Real Madrid. We'll see what happens in that game and hopefully win that game. That would be pretty awesome. And yeah, that's pretty much the plan. We'll also have a look at the end of the season stats and all that stuff. So yeah, I'm looking to do this with different teams as well. So if you guys have any suggestions, drop a comment and let me know. I read pretty much every single comment. But anyways, as you can see, transfer offer there for Bernardo Silva has been accepted. So we will be signing him soon for this video. Besides that, transfer offer accepted for Arsenal's Hector Bellerin. So... We're going to be offering him four years, £120,000, whatever he wants, and give him the important first team player role. Um, he will accept that. In fact, I decided to give him squad rotation player. I think he'll still accept that because, of course, he's moving from Arsenal to Barcelona. So, yeah. Again, contract offer accepted. Bernardo Silva, £20 million plus Arda Turan. Out of all the signings we are trying to make, 
But do let me know which player do you think is most likely to join Barcelona in this upcoming season. Drop a comment and let me know. And besides that, Paco Alcacer to PSG is a done deal, not yet, but of course it will be, £37 million. And great news as Bellerin has accepted the contract. We've now got just Marco Verratti left to sign and then we will be done with all the transfer business and we can get into some gameplay and see how this new Barcelona squad plays and, you know, get a feel of how it could well play in FIFA 18 as well. Um, anyways, now moving on to some more transfer stuff. Before that, have a look at the budget we've got. I've got adjusted because, well, the Verratti deal is proving to be expensive, so it will reduce our wage budget, but I don't think it should cause us much of a problem. So let's put in a bigger offer now for Marco Verratti. I'm going to buy it up to um, let's put it you know 94 million 95 million that's a great offer and let's just see what happens hopefully we can sign Marco Verratti he's probably gonna be the most probable signing that Barca could bring in for the upcoming season again want to know your thoughts on this situation man so do drop a comment and let me know I've said the same thing now for like three times so I'm not gonna ask you guys to drop a comment anymore but anyways a crucial first team player 190,000 pounds three years Finally, PSG have accepted the transfer offer and we'll be bringing in Marco Verratti. And I think that should be done for all the transfers unless we get enough money to bring in Ousmane Dembele as well. In fact, we've got enough money to bring in Dembele. So let's actually bring in Dembele. We'll have the Barca squad then that I think will be for FIFA 18 and for the upcoming season. And I'm really interested to see how they perform in game. So let's go ahead and try and sign Ousmane Dembele. Look at his stats, man. He's such a good player in this game. You guys might be wondering, what's the point of signing too many right midfielders when Messi is playing down that right hand side? Well, first of all, these right midfielders can play anywhere on the pitch. I mean, Dembele can play as a striker, can play on the left, he can play in midfield even. Bernardo Silva can play in that sentiment role, you know, as a number 10. Besides that, Messi occasionally drops in midfield. And that time, you can just play someone like Usman Dembele or um, Bernardo Silva down that right-hand side. So, yeah, I think these signings would make a lot of sense. I'm putting in £33 million and Christian Tello. Again, Tello... There's no way he's going to be given a chance at Barcelona next season. So, £33 million plus Christian Tello. And it's been accepted by Borussia Dortmund. Jorge Sampaoli is getting some great transfer deals done. So, let's put in £90,000, four years and um, important first team player role. I think it's a pretty solid contract offer. Hopefully, he will accept it and that should conclude all our transfer business. We've pretty much signed every player that has been linked with Barcelona throughout the season. And let's just finish this off, man. Ousmane Dembele to Barcelona. Barcelona a done deal. I'd love to see this happen in real life as well because he's such a good player and of course so skillful down that right hand side and in game he's got what four star skill moves which should be five star and also five star weak foot so he's a very versatile player as well. Transfer offer here for Douglas. I think Douglas is the only Barcelona player ever to have won more trophies than the actual games he's played which is just stupid. But yeah, 2.6 million for him. Let's just get rid of him. He's not going to be at Barcelona ever probably now. But this is the Barcelona squad now. After all the signings, etc. we've made. Neymar is 94 rated. Wow, that is absolutely insane. Neymar is higher rated than Messi. Suarez as our striker. Verratti in midfield. Busquets. Rakitic, new signings, Bayerin and Verratti are on the team, Bernardo Silva, Dembele are on the bench as well, and yeah, this team is looking solid, man, we've got Bartra in the reserves as well, it's looking amazing, we can of course play Dembele anywhere in the front three, Bernardo Silva can even play in midfield, and this team looks good, I'm going to be using pretty much all my uh, new signings, all the plays we've brought in in the game we are going to be playing, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun to see how this performs in the game we are going to be playing, it's going to be against none other than Real Madrid at home, the El Clasico, Barcelona league leaders right now. So hopefully a good performance against Real Madrid, that will be pretty cool. And let's basically get into this game. So this is the team that I'm going to be using for this Real Madrid game. And this is the Barcelona squad now, potentially the squad that Barcelona could use in the upcoming FIFA for the upcoming season. And this is the team that I've gone for, Bernardo Silva, Marco Verratti, Bayerin, all start. And I'm going to be bringing on Dembele at half time. So let's see what happens. This is the Camp Nou again. No Camp Nou in FIFA 18, which disappoints me a lot, but they've got the license. I mean, Pes have got the license. So that's very disappointing indeed. But anyways, let's talk about the gameplay. This team just felt so good. Look at that pass from Marco Verratti into Neymar. Unfortunately, Ney couldn't finish that one. But Bernardo Silva, Busquets, Verratti all linking up. Well, now it's Leo Messi. Don't forget, we've still got Messi in the team. Messi finds Hector Bellerin. It's still Bellerin. Gets away from the defenders. Turns it back into Marco Verratti. 
First goal against Real Madrid already for Marco Verratti. If he does this for Barcelona, I'll absolutely love it because I'm a Barca fan. That would be pretty awesome. Verratti again. In fact, it's uh, Bernardo Silva who played the through ball into Luis Suarez who gets the shot off. Kiko Casilla with the save. Suarez gets another shot at it. In fact, a header. But they do eventually clear it. Now a chance for Real Madrid. And look at this. was absolutely hilarious what happened here. Casemiro finds Ronaldo. Just look at this man. Marcelo puts in a cross. And what does PK do there? What an idiot, man. This game is just broken. What was PK doing there? I have absolutely no idea. But anyways, guys. Making a few changes. I've brought on Uzma Dembele and Andres Iniesta. Great substitutions to have. Here's Bernardo Silva. Great skills now. Bernardo Silva finds Leo Messi. Still Messi. Back into Bernardo Silva. Finds Usman Dembele. And that is just as easy as it gets. Four minutes it took for Usman to get his first goal for Barcelona against Real Madrid. Really good finish as well. And great link-up play between Messi and Bernardo Silva to get that goal. Again, Bernardo Silva linking up well with Messi. In real life, if that happens, it'll be amazing. Now Neymar. Back heel into Jordi Alba. We are creating some beautiful attacks against Real Madrid, man, seriously, the link-up play between the players, I mean, I can already see how good this team is going to be in FIFA 18 if these players join. Messi now on the 90th minute, pretty much on zero stamina, gets away from the defenders with a burber spin, gets the shot off, but gets fouled inside the box, and we get a penalty. It's going to be taken by Messi, his penalties aren't that good, let's see what he does, a poor penalty, but Messi gets the shot off on the rebound and fires it home. Top right corner, Messi makes it three goals to one against Real Madrid. That's how the game comes to an end. This team just feels so good. And there's Jorge Sampaoli, happy with his side. This team actually felt so good, especially on the ball. Technically, the plays were just superb. And the midfield was just so dominant with, you know, Busquets anchoring it. Verratti and Bernardo Silva, it was just superb. Let me show you guys the end of the season stats. Barcelona just about managed to win La Liga based on head-to-head -head results. That's pretty interesting. So that win we got against Real Madrid was the reason why we won La Liga. So that's pretty awesome. Our goal difference was better than them, so that's cool. We won the Super Cup as well, five goals to one. Real Madrid knocked us out of the Spanish Cup. Very disappointed, but... Well, it, you know, we can't win everything, can we? United won the Copa Europe, which is, of course, the UEFA Super Cup. And, of course, we were knocked out of the Champions League, funnily enough. And Bayern versus Man United in the finals of the Champions League. How interesting is that? Uh, might, you know, haunt some Bayern fans regarding that 1999 Champions League final. But we do manage to win the Europa League. One goal to nil against Lyon, so that's pretty cool. But that's basically it for this video. I mean, I really enjoyed making this video, you know, seeing what Team Barca could have in FIFA 18. And really enjoyed it. So if you guys do like these kind of videos, drop a like. I could do it with different teams as well. Subscribe if you are new around here. Make sure to, you know, follow me on Twitter to stay updated with the channel. And I'll see you guys very soon with another video on this channel.